Nearly 200 local workers were just let go without notice earlier this month, and now they're still waiting for a final paycheck. And Premier Surfaces in Riverside recently closing up shop, leaving its employees and customers both in the dark. 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey dug deeper into what could lie ahead for its former employees. Well, Gabriella, last week, former employees of Premier Surfaces could stop by the offices here in Riverside to pick up their things. But now you can't get inside, but you can still see some of the company trucks left over here in the. I come from England. I know next to nobody, you know, within less than a year, it felt like I had a family. After working alongside a team at Premier Surfaces for almost 10 years, Drew Borum says the company's decision to close brought plenty of shock. And then all of a sudden it was just, you know, your life's kind of turned upside down a little bit. The custom countertop company with an office in Riverside announcing a closure and termination of 200 jobs in the metro earlier this month. The decision leaving many employees in the dark and now impacting them at home. I've gone from, you know, being able to pay bills at a certain point twice a month to now just working on a day to day. The closure also hitting customers. One saying the closure leaves them without a special countertop for their dream home in Lenexa. They've destroyed more than I think they can even be bothered to comprehend. The story is just about help for uh, customers and any employees and company ownership did not offer a comment on Tuesday, but multiple attorneys who spoke to 41 Action News say former employees hoping to be paid can reach out to the state and federal Department of Labor to investigate their complaints. Depending on the corporate structure of the company, they could they could do that. They could basically sue the company and force them to liquidate assets in order for them to be paid. A company closure leading to 200 jobs being lost, with former employees hoping to fight back for what they're owed. I want people to understand that what they've done is wrong. I want my friends to get what they're owed, and I, I want the, the right thing to be done in the long run. That's Tom Dempsey reporting for us tonight. For any customers impacted by this closure, they should contact the company. They ordered the countertops from or for guidance on what to do. They can also file a complaint with the state consumer protection division if they feel the company should offer compensation.